in the world of gaming when it comes to selecting joysticks, game pads, arcade fight sticks, the works. You guys have unlimited options out there for you. There's tons of companies making these things. We're going to take a look at another one on today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft and see how the Doyo Arcade Fight Stick measures up. All right, let's open this bad boy up and check it out together. This is supposed to be a six-in-one joystick with multi-system compatibility. Inside of the box, they have actually a very nice instruction booklet. Walks you through how to connect this and get it working with your Nintendo Switch, with your PC using either X input or D input, your PlayStation 3, Android devices, Raspberry Pis, Neo Geo Minis, and things of that nature. Nice, well-done instruction booklet. Got to give them credit for that. Stupid little QR code. Hidden inside some of the styrofoam packing is our black joystick ball top. Depending on what device you're going to be connecting this to, it does include a nice little adapter, little USB-C to USB uh, 3.0 adapter right there. Now, this doesn't have any kind of Bluetooth connectivity. This is just pretty much a hardwired uh, joystick. And uh, let's take a look at it. Don't forget your dust cover. Once we got it out of the packaging and started to caress our hands all over this arcade stick, actually, it felt pretty nice. It's got some nice soft uh, coating on top of there, kind of like a, almost a leathery feel to it, which is great from a uh, comfort level point of view. It's not like you're resting your hands on a very hard piece of plastic. And of course, that's how you connect the adapter in case you're going to use this for some of the uh, specific devices that need it. So the joystick itself feels fairly cheap. Uh, it's a rotary joystick, uh, can be rotated in eight different directions. Feels like they have an octagonal gate in there as well, just from moving it around. I didn't uh, pop open the back to see what was inside. Taking a look at the product specs though, this does include zero delay uh, encoders, and you do have some Baolin uh, cheap buttons here as well. Now this product does retail for about $30, $35. So are you going to get the best of the best quality like you would on uh, an 8-bit dough or maybe even a Mayflash, which would have better uh, buttons as well? Probably not. You're going to get what you pay for. Taking a look, they do have start, select, home, power, and turbo buttons as well. Those buttons are tiny and goofy and they're not the greatest either. And although the hardware doesn't feel impressive, the actual shape and design and feel of the joystick actually is pretty comfortable, as you saw in that picture there, if you wanted to throw it on your lap. One of the goofiest but also kind of neat features is the inclusion of those suction cups on the bottom. So in case if you uh, had this on a table, a desk, whatnot, playing some hardcore fighting games, you have the suction cups there to keep, keep the uh, arcade stick from flying around. Although I'm not liking the joystick and buttons, we're still going to see this thing through. So for testing purposes and for the purpose of this review, we're going to connect this to Raspberry Pi 4, as well as to an At Games Legends Core, as well as to that mini Neo Geo SNK. And remember, this product does not have any kind of wireless Bluetooth type features or functionality, so it's all hardwired. So I do have this plugged into the Raspberry Pi 4, and sure enough, hold down the A button, it instantly detected the arcade stick, and you're able to map your buttons just like you would on any other Raspberry Pi image. You can pick your hotkeys, as well as map the buttons to however you see fit. It's your decision, all depends on what kind of games you're going to play. Obviously, you might have to hop into the button configuration settings depending on what systems you want to play on a Raspberry Pi, whether you're playing arcade games or Nintendo 64 games or things like that, the, you know, Dreamcast games. You might have to change your button configurations as you go along. And when it came to uh, playing with a Pi 4, happy to report no major issues or concerns except that the joystick and the buttons aren't the best quality. But when it comes to a compatibility standpoint, no issues, no delays. Everything was working the way it should. Playing a bunch of uh, games on here from different systems. Again, uh, figuring out your button configurations on any Pi image is probably one of the most stressful uh, pieces to it. And changing that for things like this. Playing some Soul Calibur, some Dreamcast, etc. But it did work. It did work. And it worked pretty well. In fact, out of all the devices, it worked the best on the Raspberry Pi. When it came to the At Games Legends Core, which is that glowing green hockey puck there in the top left of the screen, 
Um, when you plug in a new uh, USB controller like this, obviously you head over to the controller settings. Now the good news is, is you plug it in and it did identify the joystick immediately as well as uh, so you're able to hop over into um, the controller settings and start trying to manually map your buttons. But then there was an issue when we got to the end where we're trying to map our menu and rewind keys, which are very important for navigating in and outside of the at games ecosystem trying to map it to the buttons on the bottom of the uh, arcade stick here it would not identify them in any way i wasn't able to map a menu button or the rewind button which means getting in and out of games would be pretty much impossible so when it comes to trying to use this arcade stick with the gamer core um, or legends core whatever you want to call it um, it's not going to work so this one's a fail on this one now, when you do plug this arcade stick into a PC, there are additional drivers uh, for Windows, you know, that you could install onto the joystick. And perhaps with those drivers, might be able to get that unlocked. But unfortunately, I wasn't that interested to go that far in testing. Again, we're trying to find plug and play solutions for you guys. And last but not least, I wanted to try and see how this thing would work with the Neo Geo Mini. You have to take the USB cable, plug it into the USB to USB-C adapter, hold down uh, the home button on the uh, arcade stick. You'll notice there's a little white blinking light. And while that's blinking, plug it into the Neo Geo. And if it uh, pairs and connects correctly, that little blinking light should turn green. And you should be able to uh, then use this plug and play with the console. However, I sat here forever. I attempted doing this many, many times, many different ways of when to press the button. <laughs> and it never connected. No matter how many times I tried, I could not get this thing connected to the Neo Geo Mini following the included instructions. So again, another failure on this part. However, when it comes to plugging this thing into a PC, your PC will read it automatically, as well as the Nintendo Switch. But these other devices that they claim that it's compatible with, I'm not seeing it myself personally. However, it did work pretty well with that Raspberry Pi. So again, it goes to show you in the world of <laughs> arcade sticks, game sticks, fighting sticks, controllers, game pads, there's so many options out there. There's high-end options like 8-bit dough, uh, midline mo options like Mayflash, and then you have options like this one where like, you know, if you're on a tight budget, you know, $30, $35 arcade stick might be good for you. I'll have that link in the video description below. But if you have the extra bucks to spare, I would recommend dropping another 30, 50 bucks and picking up one of the much better 8-bit dough arcade sticks or even uh, mid Mayflash arcade sticks, which are usually about $20, $25 more expensive than this particular uh, unit. In my opinion, I would not highly recommend this one. Let me know your honest opinions and feedback below. Hopefully you appreciated the review. Give us a thumbs up on the way out, guys. And as always, thank you for subscribing.